Blood Drive, Film Club canceled, and Honor Society is all this more. You watch your Panther 4 News. Good morning and welcome to Panther 4 News. Today is November 10th, 2016. I'm Josh Otera with your latest school news. And I'm Corbin Raker with your very own Panther 4 Sports Report. The blood drive is all day today. First time donors between the age of 16 and 18 should have already signed parental consent. Drink plenty of water. Tutoring and homework haven has been canceled for today. These two events will continue next Tuesday as scheduled. Film club has been canceled for today. It will continue to as scheduled next week. The final Be A Buddy meeting will be on November 18th. The meeting will be in the cafeteria starting at 1.50 and ending at 2.15. All students must have a ride home planned in advance for right after the meeting ends. For further information, contact Coach Duesenberry in room W165. Students, there are two academic workshops run by the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools coming up. On Thursday, November 17th is Career Exploration Night. Students will be able to talk to local professionals and learn how to prepare for a successful future. On December 8th is the ACT Test Prep Workshop. This event is open to all juniors and seniors who are preparing for the ACT. If you attend, please bring plenty of pens and paper for helpful notes on strategies, time management skills, and reducing test anxiety. All three of these events start at 5.30 p.m. and you must reserve a spot. There is no fee to attend. Contact Michelle at the Foundation for Lee County Public Schools at 239-337-0433 if you would like to attend. Are you interested in dual enrollment for the spring? Here is some more information on registration at FSW for the spring semester. Hey, good morning, Panthers. This is just a reminder that it is time to register for spring courses at FSW. If you are planning on taking some dual enrollment classes, please come down and see your counselor ASAP. And for those of you that have already registered, please remember to get us a copy of your schedule in as soon as possible so we can get your textbooks ordered. Thank you. The National Honor Society District meeting has been moved to November 17th. A mandatory National English Honor Society meeting will be after school on Friday, December 2nd, in Dr. Scherf's room, E211. Dues must be paid before then. If you have any questions, see Dr. Scherf in room E211. If you're a problem solver and interested in science, engineering, or electronics, join the Cypress Lake Science Olympiad team. Stop by W252 Miss Bradway's room to pick up information and sign up. Meetings will begin at the end of November. Seniors, you now have no excuse not to join in your senior baby pictures. A box has been placed in the media center for you to drop off your picture. Choose wisely. Several Panthers earned a spot to Florida All-State Choir. In January, these students will go to Tampa to sing with the best in the state. Bridget McPherson has made it every year she has been in high school. Congrats on the rare Featuring Ellie Fails got a perfect score on the slight reading portion, being the first ever Panther to do so. Stephen James and Philip Stringham both made it for their second All-State selection, and Sean Martin made it for his first selection. Congratulations to all our very talented singers. The ASVAB test is coming up on November 21st. There's no fee to sign up. Today is the final day to turn in your forms, and you must be a junior or senior to sign up. Seniors, if you need help with your FAFSA, there will be a Help FAFSA Assistance Night tonight in our computer lab from 6 to 8 p.m. You will need your Social Security number, tax returns, and money records, including those of untaxed income and all other assets. If you have any questions, email kelly at leeschoolsfoundation.org. Our guys' soccer team beat Fort Myers 5-2 earlier this week. Franklin Hernandez tallied a hat trick and an assist to lead the Panthers to a season-opening victory. Gregory Ardili had two goals and an assist, and Kevin Hernandez set up another. Jose Camacho and Peterson St. Cyrus also had assists. Softball conditioning will be held from 1.50 to 4 p.m. on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Any girls that are interested in playing softball must have all physical paperwork on file with Miss Lane in the front office. If you have any questions, please see Coach Rodriguez in the gym. 
Basketball cheer or tryouts are today after school starting at 2 p.m. You should have attended the mandatory clinic to be able to try out. For any questions, please contact Coach Beth in room W165 or Coach Higgs in room E215. Come out and show your Panther spirit. Tomorrow is Veterans Day, and we would like to thank everyone who served in the military. One of our very own interviewed Major Provost this morning about her service and Veterans Day. First of all, I must say that I grew up during the Civil Rights Movement. So back then, our world was one thing, and today it's something completely different. We have evolved into a global environment, an environment that items and things can be brought to us very, very quickly. The military, as an example, we can give a soldier six hours notice, and we can have a plane in the air with combat soldiers, equipment, everything they'll need to survive for six months in a matter of 12 hours. We can be anywhere in the world in a matter of 24 hours. So what we've started with when I was in the military back in the early 70s to what we have now is completely different. Evolution has taken over our world and our military. I went into the military for very personal reasons. I wanted to make the same amount of money as my male cohort. I achieved that. So for me, it was purely resourceful. I wanted to make the same amount of money, but I didn't realize what the job was going to entail in order to make that happen. The friendships that you make in the military are friendships that you'll have for life. The things that you do in the military will carry over into everything you do in life. Being punctual. When I walk down the hall and I see pride, for some reason my head lifts just a little bit higher on my shoulders. And I remember our military is based on the fact we have values and you have pride. After last night's New York Knicks and Brooklyn Nets game, nine-time All-Star and New York Knicks small forward Carmelo Anthony was asked about his impression of the presidential election. He chimed in by saying, now it's our responsibility as men and women to take in it into our own hands, be role models, and be our own leaders at this point, regardless of kind of who is the commander in chief. I think we have a responsibility now, especially to our youth and kind of educating them. Um, I've talked to youth, I've talked to kids today, uh, this morning, my family. Uh, you could just hear the kind of nervousness. They're afraid. They don't know oh, what to think. People don't know what to do at this point. So I think it's up to us as individuals to kind of just take the responsibility and lead. I mean, everybody's got to lead in their own way. We can't rely on the system or one person. We got to move on from that. Anthony has been active in, in asking athletes to use their platform to address social unrest in the country and is not surprised by the result of the ele election. On behalf of everyone here at Panther 4 News, we'd like to wish you a wonderful day. Just a reminder, tutoring and homework haven have been canceled for today and will continue starting next Tuesday. I'm Corbett Raker with I'm Panther Josh 4 Sports. Have a great day, Cypress.